Okay, this is another student. Uh, this is another question asked by the student. All right. So this is the vector question, and then I believe this is a uh, paper two question because it's SPM paper two uh, in for for MX. All right, because you see actually it gives you ten mark. So I believe this is one type of like past year question. All right. So over here, we you will see a diagram, and then if we will give you some vector over here and then the first one it asks you express this one so before I I start to do everything of this one of course I have to understand this this thing so first thing he gives you PQ is equal to Y so normally what I will do is quite important that uh, you you state all the information in your diagram first so PQ is equal to Y in vector, the arrow is very important. PQ means from P to Q. So from P to Q, I've got my Y over here. All right. And then my PS will equal to 3S. P to S over here, I, I will get 3S. So, okay, so let's, let me, okay, let's see. P to S, I will get 3S. So P to S, I will draw the same thing over here. Okay, P to S, and then it will give me 3S. Yeah, obviously the arrow is here. It's 3X. Alright, alright. Then, what's very important is this thing also. Whenever I see the fraction, in order to make myself understand easily, so I will write in the ratio. So it's very simple. This is PU. Oops, sorry, this is PS. Alright, this is P okay is PS oh it's PU PU equals to 2 over 3 PS so I move the PS to this side so I got PU over PS equals to 2 over 3 so therefore I know PU ratio PS equals to 2 ratio 3 of course you have to draw the arrow for every single one because it's very important in this chapter all right then, if I got this on what's the meaning for PU ratio PS is 2 over 3? You learned P, uh, ratio before, right? That means here will be ratio 2, and then this one will be ratio 3 for PS for total. So here, so PU is 2, and PS is 3. So obviously, from here, I know actually the ratio from here actually is 2 and 1. So, if I want to write my... I want to write my vec uh, vector over here. I know P to U itself is 2x. This is x because total is 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so very important to write in this this pattern. Uh, it will be very easy for you yourself to understand. Alright, so okay, so if you can if you can understand this one, then okay, let's let me delete this one. Alright, so here I solve already, so I'm going to delete this one. So I got my basic P to U is 2X and U to S is X, okay, in this direction. All right, and then we got another uh, QR, so I'm going to write this one out. QR equals to 5 over 6 PS. All right, so same thing, I move my PS to the other side, so over PS, and then it equals to 5 over 6. So obviously, I know my QR ratio, my PS, actually equals to 5 ratio 6. Alright, so I have to check where is my QR, QR, and where is my PS, this is PS, right? So, PS just now, we just got it, it's equal to 3x. Alright, so it's P 3x equals to 6. So, over here you have to figure out what is this. Alright, so if you're not so sure, actually you can substitute the thing into here, actually you can get the answer. So what is the meaning? Meaning is like this. I, I just I got my PS equal to 3S, right? I'm going to write QR over 3X equals to 5 over 6. Alright, then from here, I can easily solve it. Okay, in this case, I do not need this one, so I just delete this one. Oops, no. I mean, I just delete this one. Alright, then I move my 3X to the other side, I can easily get my QR. My QR actually will equal to 3x move to here will be 15x over 6. Obviously, you can simplify it by divide by uh, 3, 5, and then this one will get 2. So it will be 5x over 2. 
So this one actually will give you 5x over 2. Alright. Alright. After you got all you got all this, then yeah, then you can start to solve already. So normally I will solve all the information he gave he, uh, the question actually gave me. Alright, after I solve everything, yes, yeah, then I start to do the first one. Alright, the first one A is quite simple. A actually he asks us to find PR. So it's three mark question. So PR, where is P to R? So you're going to find P to R. Alright, so do you see a triangle over here? Okay, if you see the triangle over here, it will be good. Then I can show you like something from P to R. So this is P to R, isn't it? Alright, so we, we learn about the additional law in the vector. So do you see a triangle? This is resultant vector. So we know in order to get the PR, we know you can, we can use PQ plus QR. We can use PQ plus QR. Or you can also use PS plus SR. Obviously, we use this journey will be will be easier. Alright, because we got PQ is Y. And then we got QR. What's the QR? QR is 5 over 2x. Then we're done. 3 mark. Okay, because you already solved this one. So we give you three mark. I, I, I think you got uh, another one mark is solving this one. And one mark is actually you can write out the triangle law. And then one mark is for you to answer this one correctly. Alright, okay. Part B is is a little bit uh, difficult if compared to part A. Because it gives you seven marks. So we're going to solve part B together. Alright, from here. Okay. So B, what the B one? He asks you, I give you some information. He said, Poly V light inside the trapezium. Obviously, we can see on here, on here. All right. And then such that 4 UV equals to MPQ. And M is a constant. Express PV in terms of M, X, and Y. So for this kind of information, of course, I know this one is very important. So since I know this is very important, so I'm going, I'm going to like trying to X solve it first. 4 UV equals to MPQ. Alright, so when I solve it, okay, because I want to get PV, I can either open from here or open from here. Alright, so okay, I try to open from here. What what is the meaning for open here? Is like this, this is 4, right? So for UV u to v actually i can say uv is equal to up plus pv doesn't it so i'm going to write equals to up plus pv then here i just continue mpq all right then i can easily get the answer because here i got pv already so you just expand this one you got 4 up plus 4 PV then will equals to MPQ then you can solve it by moving everything to the other side so 4 PV actually will equals to MPQ minus 4, U, 4 UP alright then yeah just divide everything by 4 so PV will equals to MPQ minus 4 UP over 4 Right, it's not real. It's not really hard. Right, so but then you have to un understand why is the meaning it give you this one. Right, so so I'm going to like solve this one. Okay, so okay, let me just write again. So the question give me four uv equals to mpq. So just now I show you this one actually we can expand will become up plus pv. Right. And then this is MPQ. We have the so whenever you uh, got this kind of equation, you have to check whether you have all this information or not. Do you have UP or do you have PQ? So from a diagram here, I can find out that actually I have okay, let me like group this one together, and then I can move move it downstairs. Okay. Okay, then I right click, I try to group them. Okay. 
Okay, let me, let me move this one down. And you can see it easily rather than I keep on moving. Okay, let me like zoom it this way. Alright, so from here, it will be e easy for you to see. Alright, so for this kind of equation, what you need to double check is do you have the information for UP? Yes, you have, it's negative 2x. And then do you have the PV? Or if or PV doesn't matter, if you want to find PV. Do you have the information for PQ? P to Q. Yes, uh, PQ, you got is Y. Alright, if you got all this information, yes, then you can do like this. Alright, then I'm going to expand this one like just now. I multiply 4 into the U UP and PV. Alright, equals to M, PQ. Alright, then next step, I'm going to substitute everything I have. I have UP equals to negative 2X. And then PV, I do not have anything because I want to find. And then I got PQ. PQ is Y. Alright, that's, that's why I said information is very important. Um, information, and that's why I said direction is very important. Because UP and PU is different direction. So you have a negative over here. So this one is negative ax, isn't it? So I'm going to move the negative ax to the other side. So it will become my plus ax. Because it's minus ax, so we move to the other side, it becomes plus. So then I move my 4 to the other side, the whole thing divided by 4. So this one I'm going to call it m over 4y. So this one divided by 4 is just 2x. Alright, then I've done the first one. Because in the part 1, he say express pv. Oh, this is pv. I think I just write it. Uh, let me just erase this one. This is 4PV. So PV. Alright, so he said express PV in terms of M, X, and Y. So yes. So I can have number M, X, and Y over here. Alright. Then, the second information. Okay, this is for part 1. Then we're going to do the part 2. Alright, part 2, he says since if the point when you see hangs, uh, you have to use the answer above, alright? If the point P, V, and R is a collinear, alright? Find the values M. Collinear over here is very important. Because collinear here actually will bring up another formula for vector. So, if this is collinear, I can I can write something like this. Collinear means, means what? Mean actually, everything with uh, P, V, and R is in the same line. P, V, and R is in the same straight line. We call it collinear. So that means he said P, V, and R is the co collinear. So collinear, we do not know the ratio over here. So we're going to call the ratio equals to lambda. Alright. So over here, I can form an equation something like this. P, V equals to lambda, V, R. Or, P, or can say P, R. Right, you can write in so many terms. Okay, you can even write PV equals to lambda VR. It's correct also. Or you can write PV equals to uh, lambda maybe uh, PV. Oh uh, no, we, you can't write PV because we have to use all three. We have to use the all three alphabet. Alright, so PV equals to PV. There's nothing. Alright, but then in this case you have to decide which which one to use. Normally I will use the first one because I I think I have the information for PR rather than VR because I do not have the information of VR. But then this one you can still solve. Just just you have more step to solve. Alright. So lambda here is the ratio. Ratio can be two over three, can be four over five, can be anything. Alright. So yeah, so I try to use the first one to solve the my second part. Alright, so you, so I'm going to solve my second part uh, over here. So I just delete this one maybe. Okay, and then I just move this thing go go down. Okay, okay. Let just let me go down. I'm going to extend the page. Oh, let's go up a bit. All right. So I'm going to move this one over here because I'm going to solve the part two over here. All right. So. Now, the question asked me, okay, let me write the direction first. The question asked me to find y, to find the values of m. So I'm going to find the values of m, and then I, I think I will need the diagram. Oops. I think I will need, I, will, I think I will need this diagram. Okay. Yes. 
Okay, I will need this diagram. Alright, then he asks us to find M. So, when he say find M, it's very important that you have PV because you have the M in, inside the, the equation of PV. So, I, I have PV over here. Alright, so I can try to find M over here. So, okay, I'm going to start to solve for it. Stop now. I'm going to solve now. So, what's my PV? It's M over 4Y plus 2X. It goes to lambda. Lambda can be anything. And then do I have PR? I believe I do have PR at the beginning. Yeah, PR equals to Y plus 5 over 2X. So it equals to Y plus 5 over 2X. Alright, this is what I have at the beginning. Alright, then I have to I, I multiply my lambda into the both. So I call 5 over 2 lambda X. This is M over 4Y plus 2X. Alright, in this case, okay, when you do until here, what you need to do is you have to compare uh, between x and x and y and y. Because now you got two unknowns, so I will compare x first. So I'm comparing x. So what I will have is, here is 2, right? So 2 will equal to 5 over 2 lambda. Then I can get my lambda easily by moving 5 over 2 to the other side. So my lambda will equal to 4 over 5. Alright, then the next thing is I comparing y. Alright, my I comparing y, what I have is my lambda will equals to m over 4. Do you see? Lambda equals to m over 4. And I got my lambda over here already just now. It's 4 over 5. So I moved the 4 to the other side. Then I got 16 over 5 equals to m. Yeah, then I got, got it. Or you can rewrite again, m equals to 16 over 5. Solve, seven mark. Alright, so the comparing method over here is very important. And then whenever they say collinear, you must able to link to this formula. Whenever collinear or parallel, you can always use this formula. Whenever they say collinear or parallel. Alright, and then this formula you can write in so, so many patterns. Just you have to make sure you, you use all PV and R. Alright, or, or sometimes they give you a, B, C. So you make sure you have to use A, B, and C in the vector here. Alright. It's so important you understand this one. Alright. I, yeah, I think this video is a bit long. Alright. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you got any question, you can post a comment to me either on YouTube or Facebook. Alright. Bye.